Hello, welcome back to another hands-on exercise. We are going to be using data actions to determine if a user is logged in and ready to take a call. And then based around that decision, either forward them the call, or send them to a, a queue to get answered and whatnot. So kind of a lead up to here is we'll have to uh, create some data actions. Um, that is under the integrations uh, field over here, go to data actions. I've already created these. Um, that's kind of outside the realm of this um, initial uh, course. This course really is just getting the basics of of getting the queues built and getting the call flows flowed out. Uh, but uh, when we have another course, we'll have another course that dives deeper into data actions. This that'll be a good course for this kind of thing. Um, I have created two different data actions. One is check user status. Now this is checking a user status based off of um, the ID of that user. So you can kind of go here. Uh, it doesn't have it there, but it does show up. Uh, and I think I'm at the wrong one. Let me look. Yeah, user presence, there we go. User status, user presence. Looking at user, user presence, it is needing the user ID to take a look at this. So what we're gonna do, uh, we have to get the user ID and that's gonna be done in the call flow. How we're gonna do that is use it by get user ID by extension. Simple enough, if you remember right, I put the one user we created with a 1001 extension. And essentially that's what we're gonna do here. And we can even test it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do 1001, run that data action. It comes back successful, there's the ID. And so then what we're going to do, uh, and I'm running this here, but essentially we're gonna do this exact same thing just within the call flow and variables. We're gonna then come back to get user presence. We're gonna go and test this here, see what we get when we run it. And the person's presence is considered offline, which makes sense because obviously that person's offline. I don't, uh, I'm logged in as myself. So of course they're gonna make, they're gonna have that person be offline. So perfect, perfect thing to run there. We know that it's gonna be offline and what the presence is gonna be. It allows us to can, kind of get a good idea of what we need to plan for. Um, I may even use my own user ID just so I can check it out and see what I look like uh, for you all. That way you can see it. So let me uh, let me go ahead and go to my profile real quick. Uh, this is really easy to do. You can get edit. I'm going to go ahead and put 1002 here and save. So I've saved. Now if we go and flow back to the data actions. Takes a few minutes. Data actions. We are going to go to get user ID by extension again. And I'm gonna go ahead and put 1002 in. We're gonna go ahead and run it. So obviously that should come back as me. There's success there. So now all we're gonna do is just do that same thing. See what my status looks like when, um, since I'm on, or uh, I'm logged in. So let's go ahead and test. There's the user ID successful means I'm available. So anything like offline, logged off, any of those in this instance, when we go in and do this on the flow um, is going to, we want it to route somewhere else, either to sales or to support or somewhere um, outside of that. Now, obviously every other thing, pretty much the default action is really what we're gonna plan for. Uh, the default action is going to be call them uh, if they're logged off or um, offline, I think it's offline is what it is, or busy, then we won't route it to them. We'll actually send it somewhere else. So let's go ahead and jump back in. Um, these two things will be available. Um, the JSON files will be available on uh, this uh, section. Um, so look for those. That'll be just some resources that you'll need to have uh, in order to, to actually run this module. So if you haven't done that yet, maybe pause it here. Go ahead and, and get those imported there. Um, and you'll be able to you'll be able to see that. So and, and just I guess one last thing, importing here is what we're looking for. You'll select that import file, uh, and then that file will kind of run everything for you. If you have any questions or if you have any issues of what's happening, reach out to me. Um, I'm usually available on the, online, and uh, we can we can walk through it. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we have this transfer to John Doe is what we're going to look at here. So obviously we're just transferring to this user no matter if they're offline or they're online. Um, what we want is because that could be, you know, that could come across as bad customer service. They're getting their, this person's voicemail and maybe the person had a day off or they have vacation. Well, you wanna, you wanna calculate for that. That way, if that does happen, if that person's offline, that someone else can help them. Uh, 
Most likely it's a sales call maybe that's coming into John Doe. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run, get some data actions put in here. So we're going to call this data action here. The cl Genesis Cloud data action. The data action is get user routing status. Not get user routing status. Where is, oh, one thing you forgot, I forgot to do. Um, and this is pretty typical, but uh, this is still in draft form. You have to save and publish. Always remember that. I don't know how many times I've forgotten to do that. And then it's not there. So now it should be there. It might take a little bit. Uh, let me just go ahead and save. Let's see if that pops it back. Uh, nope, I'll have to reboot or refresh. So easy enough. As long as you save it, you can refresh. It will open it back up um, in edit mode. That way you don't have to, you know, then wait a few minutes to republish or not republish, but re-edit. So now I should do that. I should be able to get it. There it is right there. Get user ID by extension. For this input, we are using, obviously not using it, we're using the literal. So this person's extension is 1001. Success outputs is the ID. So we want to make this a variable. So flow uh, user ID, for example. So based off of that, obviously, if it's a failure or a timeout, we're going to route somewhere else. If it's a success, we do need to do a variable off of that. And that is um, a variable and another data action. So we'll do a data action here. There's going to be a variable. I'm going to go ahead and set it up. You can go ahead and put that there too, but it's going to be there logical. It's going to be a decision. So this data action. So we've gotten the, we've gotten the flow.userID variable. So now we need to get their presence. So we're gonna go ahead and get user presence here. This is where we're gonna put that flow.userID variable. Oh, and I put that, of course, in that. So flow.userID variable, perfect. And the presence, we're gonna do flow.userPresence. Obviously, you can do whatever variable you want, flow.task. Um, but flow.userPresence just makes the most sense to me when I think of it. And so now we need to make, base a decision around that. So we've gotten the user presence because we got the user ID. We, we implemented it into the user presence. We're getting that back. So now what we're looking to do is, so flow.userPresence, and if it's equal to offline, and obviously here's this, we want it to route one way. If, let's say you do want to set it up for offline, available, busy, et cetera. Let's say you do want to set it up for that. Uh, that would be a switch. So you'd simply do the switch and then each one you'd have that. But we're just looking for offline. If the person's offline, um, then that's when we want to route somewhere else. If they're not offline, which is equal to no, right? If they're not offline, we're going to go ahead and transfer. So we can click and drag. So we've gotten one path completed. Uh, we've we've checked, we've gotten the user ID by extension, we've gotten their user presence based off their user ID, we found that they're not offline, it then transfers to that user, obviously the failout path is after hours menu right now. Um, if it does, if it is equal to offline, we want to do something else. Because we already know that it's went through and it is open, you know, we've they've went through the, the schedule check, it's open still. Maybe this is, maybe John Doe is a salesman. So we're going to assume that he's a salesman in this in this aspect, and we're going to go ahead and transfer to ACD. We're going to transfer it to sales because if he's in sales, then what we want to do is we want to get it to another sales rep as quick as possible. Maybe John Doe, he's on another sales call or he has something else. We want to at least get it to there. That way they're getting answered. Um, maybe they can leave a message for John Doe, et cetera. Not uh, not our worry on that time. That's more of a business decision, and then you guys are just implementing this. Um, so we're transferring to sales. If the person is offline, if they are not, they're getting transferred. Now all these fails and timeouts. These are a perfect thing to have for error handling. Um, this now this is uh, one thing that we do need to then set something for, right? Uh, it may be going. We want this to go to error handling, but if you remember in one of the the previous uh, hands on. Uh, exercises, we actually made a queue, the queue, the variable. So we need to then make a queue, the variable. And really it's just going to, let's go to go to sales here. And we're going to go ahead and copy this. Copy. 
and we are going to paste it down here, if I can. Let's just paste it right here, and then bring it down. So one thing we're going to do is, we already know that this is transferring to sales, but let's say all of these other ones, for some reason it times out. It, we don't we don't understand why it just it just happens something happened it times out in an effort to allow this to go to the error handling piece where it then plays hey something went wrong hold while we transfer your call or hold while you know leave a message um, we're going to go ahead and remove this menu and we're going to add a transfer no a task jump to reusable task and that reusable task is going to be error handling. So now, start to finish, they call in, they get the main menu, they press option five to transfer to John Doe, they look up his extension. Obviously, happy path is he's online and he's gonna get the call. Um, one of the fail path, happy fail paths is if you know he's offline, it's still going to sales, still gonna be able to get a chance to, to talk to someone about you know possibly purchasing the products or, or whatnot. Um, the, all the other happy fail paths that we need to create here are all about failures and timeouts. And essentially all we're doing is we are going to update the data. So worst case scenario, anything fails out here, it's gonna update the queue with sales. It's going to then transfer to the error handling where it does check to see if agents are on queue. Remember the messaging that plays, if it's not, it's going to come to the switch and because it's sales, it's gonna follow and go to the transfer to voicemail. That allows them to uh, at least get a voicemail to where they're able to have the callback number, they're able to get the message from the person should anything fail out. And that is, that's the close of that course really on this piece of it. You want to save, validate it, um, make, you know, publish, make sure you do it, test your call flow even, you know, make the call in, um, see if you can get someone uh, in, your, in your own system. Remember how you can do when you publish and you can do debug, uh, you can do the debug and, and call from the internal. But really this, this is um, just to learn to create that data action. Uh, there'll be another one, not in here, that we'll have to learn to create that data action. One last thing, and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna backtrack just a little bit. So if you guys are having problems uh, with the data action or setting it up, there is one thing that you do need to do. If you go to integrations, um, there will be a Genesis Cloud data action you'll need to create. So you see Genesis Cloud data action there. You go to integrations, you type in Genesis Cloud, if I can spell Genesis Cloud, and install data action. Essentially what that does is when you go to the data action, you'll be able to configure it. You're just looking for credentials that's just really the OAuth client credentials. You don't have to worry about uh, much of that. You then will um, be able to enable it and create that as active. And then all the data actions will be basing it, itself off of that. So keep that in mind. Um, that's not really covered in this course very often. Uh, it's really just the basic one. This does get into the weeds a little bit more about it, but we will cover it in a different course. Um, but this is uh, just to let you know the basics of how to do that to make sure that your call flows are working correctly. Uh, until next time, uh, have a good day and uh, we'll catch you on the next hands on.